Now, this question of chemical contraceptives is a very serious one. This is the anniversary of Humanae Vitae. I am going to tell you that the Holy Spirit kept us on track with that document because the laity and others were really urging that we back off on the, chemi on the question of chemical contraceptives. There's really not a problem. You know, God made that to, you know, it should be okay. But let me explain to you that there are some real serious issues, and I'm not discussing the morality issues, I'm discussing the science issues, all right? If I am chemically contrac if I'm not chemically contracepting, remember I said there's that 80-20 split here in terms of people, all right? So if I'm in this 80%, I meet a guy, this is, now this part's the female part, I meet a guy and he smells nice. This is the first cut. Doesn't mean he's necessarily a good mate in the long run. You got to do the other, you know, take those other things into account. But it's the first one. Wow, okay. Well, what that means is if I'm not chemically contracepting is that he is a good match for my immune system. It's called the MHC complex, major histocompatibility complex. All your cells have these markers on it. We perceive these by pheromones. Animals perceive these. In the animal kingdom, animals do not mate with those whose immune systems are too much like them. They're considered kin. They, by scent, they know this, all right? Same is true for us in terms of this. Now, this is why we don't marry our first cousins. You want a broad, you know, you want difference here in terms of fertility issues. If I am chemically contracepting or I am in this 20%, I am attracted by a scent to a male who is much more like my father or my brother in terms of immune system. This means that fertility, should we marry, is reduced. Um, the, first peop the first time this was reported in Europe, uh, The Guardian, which is hardly a Christian paper, it's just a secular paper in Britain, did a big ar ar article on the sniff test. And the sniff test is this. If you are chemically contracepting, you have met the guy you think is Mr. Wright, and you want to have children with him, you need to do this. You need to go off chemical contraceptives and allow your body to come back to normal. I don't know how long that takes, footnote. Secondly, once you have done that, then you have Mr. Wright, or Mr. Wrong, uh, wear a t-shirt for three days with no smelly anything, okay? No aftershave, no smelly soaps, no shampoo, and then you sniff his t-shirt. If he does not smell right to you, this is not a good match, all right? Alexander Sanger, you recognize the name, okay? Alexander Sanger, Margaret Sanger's grandson, International Planned Parenthood, in a book, Beyond Choice, cites this research and says that the pill is horrendously bad medicine for not only for women, but for society because we have tipped our fertility in a way we will never recover. No one tells people this. It isn't that you wouldn't love this person, all right? But if you're trying to have children, you're more likely to have trouble conceiving, to have miscarriages, and just to have fertility failures. Should you go off the pill and not be pregnant, you might not like him anymore. And I have to tell you, I know couples who don't know why they got divorced, but they didn't like each other anymore. Right here. 